Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2016. I am 2K. I am here with Swarly for Underground Extreme. Again. No locker room instance. We're up to an 87. I'm so proud of our guys. Yeah, the boys in the back have really been holding it down. The boys. Speaking of proud, Swarly. Yeah. Let me talk about how proud I am of you. Okay. I want you to tell the people about this main event. Okay, great. This beauty of a main event that you have. We're, we're going to do a triple us. threat tag match here to set up for our big triple threat title match next week. There's a little little preview episode here. We're going to do Rey Mysterio. And uh, he is going to team with Captain Mexico, mm -hmm. moving to Carrera. Uh, they will take on Rob Van Dam and Sabu. Of course, as mm -hmm. the best friends. Yes, right. Shabu hasn't he been beat it. up on screen in a while, so... Yeah, he's due. And then, of course, uh, the Yakuza of Taka Michinoku and uh, Kaz Hayashi. So, yet again, we are putting Kaz Hayashi in a main event, but hopefully these other five gentlemen can carry. We've been getting 60s the other times, so I'm sure this it'll be true. fine. This is true. Maybe we need to put Kaz in there to make the other people look like... Like, to other people to be like, oh, wow, yeah, those other guys are good. Look at how bad Kaz is. Yep, that's 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 the idea. Okay. Ready for a hardcore match? Oh, yeah. What a hardcore match it's going to be. Yeah. Storm and Norman. Former WCW hardcore champion. And another former WCW hardcore champion, <laughs> Teddy Hart. I mean, that's probably not true, but I can't prove it. <laughs> Nope. No one knows who actually held those titles. All right. Uh, this is a car crash. <laughs> Boy, is it. You know what, Swirly? I'm ready for Teddy Hart to pick up a win. Oh, me too. Norman Smiley might not be ready for that. Eh, let's make it a little easier for him to stomach. By having people punch him in the stomach. Super Kahlo. Nope, that's the wrong. No, that no, that's wrong. wrong. No, that's yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> that's it's all the wrong. Christopher it's the Daniels, wrong evil people. Yeah, and Samoa Joe can come out and do it. I mean, it's a hardcore match. Anything goes. They could, like Christopher Daniels could just get in the ring and like oh. give him an angel's wings. Norman had no complaints. Okay, great. Norman's a good brother. Norman's a good guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um. I would, I would like to book an angle. Okay. Taka is backstage. Taka is backstage, motherfucker. <laughs> he, he has money again. Okay. This time he's giving it to Agent LK. All right, great. And there is a picture of Rob Van Dam with a big red X on it. LK is like, I mean, it hasn't worked before, but okay, I'll try it. Taka leaves, and the prototype just storms in. He just, just grabs him, grabs Agent LK by his black tie, starts dragging him to the ring. Okay. This is not the way I thought we were going to get to this, but all right. We, we took the scenic route to get to this match. Yeah. I thought we were going to take the more direct, like, Hey, we caught on to the fact the prototype is following us, but no, they're still oblivious <laughs> to this large hulking man <laughs> following them around and yep. seeing their every move. Well, I'll have you know, part of being a prototype is having very good stealth. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I guess that's what's the prototype. Like, oh, I have a proto, uh, like a prototype stealth uh, chip in my brain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just turn it on and blend into the walls. I, w I would like the prototype to win this match. Okay, that's... Low-key will probably complain because he's low-key, but, you know. We'll see. Then okay. afterwards, right. prototype can uh, take the money and hand it out to people. All right, great. Super baby face. All right, what you got? Hit me with something good. Uh, I would like to book another vignette for Dr. Mont E. Brown. Okay. All right. It's like the week after he's in a medical, like a medical review board. 
they're like, oh, Dr. Brown, you know, your surgery last week, uh, you know, uh, you seem to be losing a lot of patients. And he's like, well, I did everything I could. You know, gives him like a very sincere, like, oh man, I can't believe I lost him. He like maybe forces a couple tears out and they're like, I think we've seen all we've had to see here. Dr. Brown, thank you. And then he like turns away, turns his back to them, turns his face to the camera, evil smirk as he leaves the room. Because he's an evil surgeon. Okay. This is I this is a this is storytelling, bro. <laughs> this is storytelling. Uh how much time do we have? Twenty six minutes, so we got time for one one more angle. I think I might have one if you do not. Um, I mean CM Punk has to cut a promo, right? Like that's the new I guess. It's that's just... the new edict, right? Like CM Punk cuts promos. CM Punk just comes out now, not not even just no, I mean, it, could be, it, it could be backstage, you know, like Cole Cabana's is there. Huh? You know what? Let's have the second episode of Colt Cabana's podcast. Colt's, <laughs> Colt's, uh, Colt's Corner. Colt's Corner. Yeah. BCM Punk. Okay. Can't can't see anything interesting coming out of Colt Cabana and CM Punk sitting down to talk. Mm-mm. Nope, probably not. And, uh, and so we suddenly have to cut the cut the feed when he's like, "Yeah, there's uh Swarley and Nick guys aren't paying me, and there's no doctor here." And we're just like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" There's a, we just saw a doctor. <laughs> 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 yeah, but he's not exactly a good doctor, Nick. <laughs> yeah, oh. Punk's gonna be like, "I had an infection. They sent me to this Doctor Monty Brown guy, and I don't think he was helping me at all." fact i think he took out part of my liver <laughs> yeah i don't know i just i saw him i was in his office and the next thing i know i woke up in a bathtub full of ice and i was like what happened the good news is you don't have an infection anymore <laughs> <laughs> the bad news is don't get an mri ever again all right you ready for this main event yeah it's the greatest main event of all time but uh, Six Lokis in a triple threat tag match. <laughs> Boy, what a match that would be. <laughs> Just Senshi versus Loki versus yeah, Agent versus 47 versus Loki. Cabal. Versus Agent LK. Ugh. I would versus... love to hear the promos for that. Versus Gangsta Key. Yes. Also, welcome back, Captain Mexico. <laughs> I've not used him at all. I'd like ready to go days. over Sabu here. Okay, sure. I mean, that's why Sabu's here. Or Kaz. Ready to go over Kaz? Um, he can pin Sabu. That's fine. Back to the mid-card, Sabu. All right. Anything else you would like to book? No, I think we're good. Oh boy, this punk promo has been slowly creeping up the card as well. I know. Yeah, it's, it's been getting main event scores. Yep. Ooh. I mean, that's not great. No, but that is. Yeah, this match is all right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I... All right, guys. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these were certainly matches. Oh, this Monty Brown's vignettes are picking up steam. People are getting into it. Yeah. They really were invested when Monty Brown started crying. But it was all Uh-oh. a ruse. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, that's still in the main event range. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My great main event delivered. Really did. Boy, this was a great set of tapings for uh, Kaz Hayashi. And then he's not going to be on the final <laughs> card. You know. Eh, it is what it is. Ah, oh, Michael Cole. <laughs> so, uh, we got, we got our big show next week. While I wait for these emails to come up. Hope you're ready for... The great triple threat. Oh boy, here we go. 
Christopher Daniels doesn't connect with the fans, says Juvi Guerrero. I don't know what you're talking about. People love the juice. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna sign off. We'll see you, see you for the big finale. Later.